Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new tutorial in Unreal Engine. So today I'm going to show you how to um, create an interact highlight on your pickup object. So that's all about having a color highlight on your object when you're close to the object. So we will define some sort of radius um, around the object and when we are close to this radius or when we cross this radius, the object will highlight or have some sort of a border outline color. So this is what we are going to um, show in this video. So the first step is to have an object um, in your editor, right? So let's create one. So um, since it's an exercise for outline, maybe let's create a new folder over here. Let's call it outline. So this is where we are trying out um, this tutorial. And, and now let's create a blueprint class type actor let's put something like outline obj outline object let's add a bp outline object okay there you go open it up okay um, so the first thing you need is um, an object right so you need a static mesh so let's add a component over here static mesh there you go all good so let's um, load up a mesh here to be displayed. Let's go with some standard boxes which I have. Um, okay, this apple box. So we have this apple box as a static mesh to this blueprint class. Save it, close it. Um, you would want to place it somewhere in your map here. Save it. Let's see it in the game mode. Yeah, there you go. So you're close to the object. The object looks cool. cool. It doesn't have the highlight at the moment, right? It's just a pure object displayed in the game, right? So now when we are, let's say, within a closed radius, we are going to highlight this object, okay? How to do this? So the first part is you need um, to define an outline highlight for this. So let's um, right click, create a material, call it something like outline mat, okay? Let's open it up in the blend mode, make it masked and uh, make it unlit in the shading model and make it two-sided. That's the first step you need to do. Save it. Okay, all good. Now we need to do some magic over here. Two-sided sign. So now you need basically a one minus. Okay, now Take this node and connect it to the opacity ma mask. Okay, so that's done. So now you need a vertex normal WS over here. Okay, multiply that. Right click over here, promote to uh, parameter, and name it something like um, line thickness. That's the thickness of the line, which will act as your outline. And as a default value, you can give it as one, okay? Now this is what you need to give it to the world position offset. Okay, so that's done. Now you need to define a color for that. So basically you can promote this to another variable or a parameter. Um, um, yeah, and select some color over here. So I'm selecting this yellow color over here. Okay, so that's done apply okay you can even create um, a material instance out of it out mat inst okay so that's over here pretty simple so now the next step is to have this overlay appear on the object when we are closer to the object right so basically you need to define a sphere collision around the object which has a um, sufficient radius um, as per your need and when you cross this radius the highlight should appear right so then let's go to the uh, bp outline object so first things first you need to add a sphere collision okay you have it here define the radius let's keep it as 150 for the moment okay that's it save compile um, now what you want to do is in the event graph so you don't need um, begin play and event tick over here. What we need is basically the begin overlap, right? That's where we are interested in. So you also need um, the end overlap, basically. So it should be a collision event, um, end overlap. So basically you need the highlight to appear 
when it begins the overlap and when we exit the overlap, the, um, the highlight should be disappeared, right? So now we will define the overlay material for this particular object. So it will appear on top of the static mesh. That's the idea, okay? So the first step, what you need to do is, um, yeah, cast to your player character. So I do it for my player character here. So it's BP Atore one. Do the same over here. We need it. Cast to BP Atore one. Okay. Cat player character. Okay. Feed the return value into the objects of both. Now the next step would be set overlay material. We need both over here, right? And here, basically, we won't set any overlay material. It, we will leave it as empty, so it's null, so nothing will be displayed. But here, you choose your outline material instance, basically. There you go. Okay, save, compile. So basically, our character, when he's going to overlap with the object, when I say overlap, it's a spear collision overlap, okay? It's going to set the overlay material as this guy, so it appears around the object. And if not, when we end the overlap, it's going to set this empty asset, so it's going to disappear. So that's simple as that. And now let's play and check it out if it's working as expected. So there you go. So now it's not lit, it doesn't have any overlay. There you go. When you are closer, you have an overlay. This is a cool user interaction feature which most of the games utilize these days. So that's the tutorial for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. Please do try it out and let me know in the comments if it works for you. Uh, but otherwise, that's all for today's video. So see you again in a brand new tutorial, guys. Until then, bye, guys.